my name is Helen Fields. I'm the wife of Joseph Fields. We're here on Johns Island, which is the second largest island on the East Coast. We're owners of Joseph Fields Farm. We're certified farmers of about 50 acres. When we got married in 1973, my husband was a certified welder. Three months after we were married, he announced that he was going to quit his job as a welder and he was going into farming full time. We started off conventional and from there we went chemical free and then we decided to go ahead and get our organic certification. We participate in the farmers markets. We have Harris Teeter, which is our number one store. We take vegetables there on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Uh, whatever they need, we try to accommodate them. During the spring, I had strawberries in here. Now the strawberries are going on, so I'm planting some field peas. Well, we plant the peas in probably in July or August, and we plant pink eyes and black eyes also, and crowded peas. All of them does the same thing, fill the nitrogen in the soil. That's part, part of the organic process. And the soil, the sandy loam, and, um, it, it's good. It, it holds together, it, it holds the moist, and we grow a lot of fresh produce on it. We don't use herbicide or pesticide because I'm certified organic and everybody, everybody wants local, fresh, organic produce. The muscadine are brown and the scopanine are purple, dark purple. All of them have a good taste. We just pick them right out the bush and just, just eat it. And this is juicy and sweet as that. It may have one or two seeds in it, but it's okay. Oh, one vine, but we probably get about 50, 50 pounds off of it. I'm growing some tomatoes, some regular cherry tomatoes, um, some regular tomatoes. We're growing some, some chard, and some, some, some Chinese cabbage. And the reason why we're using the white plastic, it, it reflects the heat. The ground won't be so hot because during the summertime, the ground get a very hot temperature. It burns the crops up. And these are some fall okra that I just planted, and they're growing on white plastic moss also. Everything totally organic. The white plastic are, are keeping the soil together and the fertilizer underneath so when the rain, it wouldn't wash it away. Weeds are in the alley, but they're not hurting the plants. This is my zucchini field. I got two different varieties of zucchini. We planted these back in early July, but we harvesting these right now. We harvesting another three or four, four more weeks on it before we um, pull the plants up and we plant something else in it. Probably some green onions, probably some collards, probably some kale, uh, probably some carrots. And we, we probably pick up about 1,500, 2,000 pounds of squash off the bush. As long as you keep them sprayed to keep the insect off of it, and take care of it, they will produce. Right there is some green beans that we planted back in early July. Another week or so, they should be ready to pick. And they're looking real, real good due to the hot weather. We pick them three, three to four times, and you probably get 500 pounds off, off these bushes. And by doing on plastic, the beans last a long time. And these are the cucumbers that we pick. And Harris Teeter, they, they buy a lot of cucumbers, a lot of squash. And uh, this side they be looking for for their stores white plastic protect them from getting rot, but then the white plastic keep the ground cool also. And if the ground cool, they, they grow much better. These look real good. No spots, no bad spots on them, no rot or whatever. And we're trying to produce them with what they need and what they like. Please visit your local Harris Teeter stores. It's a good place to shop. You will enjoy it. You will receive quality produce and you can visit us at our website josephfields.com.